One of the most bizarre executions during the reign of any Tudor monarch was that of Mabel Brigg during the reign of Henry VIII. At the age of 32, she was investigated for treason and was accused of undertaking a black fast. This was when a person would fast very intensely, which wasn't really a crime. However, Mabel's fast was alleged to have intended to brought about the deaths of Henry VIII and Thomas Howard, the third Duke of Norfolk. Supposedly, she must have thought by fasting to please God, he would have some say in the death of the king. This sort of behaviour was tied into the idea of witchcraft, which let's be honest had a rather turbulent past throughout English history. Join us today as we look at the bizarre execution of Mabel Brigg, the woman who fasted to kill the king. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Mabel Brigg was born around the year 1506 and not much is known about her early life or her family background. She worked as a servant for a number of families in different households and during this time she would begin to fast regularly as part of her Catholic worship. She was dismissed from one household as a servant as she was accused of theft. She then worked in a household in the East Riding of Yorkshire and arrived with two children. It's most probable that she was also a widow. In the summer of 1537, she arrived in the house of the Locker family in Yorkshire and she was hired to perform a black fast. In around August 1537, Mabel would on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday perform the fast on behalf of a lady called Isabel Buck. She previously would have performed the fast, however had recently lost a child. The purpose of this fast was to recover some of Buck's lost money, and Mabel Brigg was paid for the fast with two dry gallons of wheat and half a yard of linen, however she was reluctant to accept any payment. It seems that she could have made some money from performing fasts in different households, and it seems also that these fasts were performed with some intent on gaining a specific outcome, be it financial or for an action to occur. The fast took three days with no meat or milk allowed to be consumed. At some point, John Locker, the head of the house where Mabel was staying, threw her out as she was thought to have stolen some money, and Mabel was probably beaten as well. There was obviously some form of serious conflict between Mabel Brigg and the family she was serving. The Lockers would be the ones who would level an accusation of treason against Mabel at some point. In January 1538, Locker and his wife Agnes would claim that Brigg was actually fasting with the intention of killing Henry VIII and Thomas Howard, the Duke of Norfolk, the uncle of Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard, two of Henry's wives. Now the black fast that was aimed to bring about the death of the king had to be consented from the Chantry priest and it was confirmed at Mabel's trial that the priest had consented to the fast. However, Mabel was deemed to be conducting acts of witchcraft by bringing about the death of a monarch and subsequently doing this, she was regarded as treasonous. Agnes Locker also stated that Brigg had performed a black fast in the past with the aim of killing a man who had wronged someone she was familiar with. This man then broke his neck shortly after, so she was deemed to have been a dangerous individual. Mabel at her trial would say that John Locker himself had offered Mabel seven shillings to bring about the death of the king. At her trial, Mabel admitted to have been performing black fasts, and she referred to it as a St. Trillian's fast. Black fasts in the past have been referred to as when a witch would concentrate all her willpower upon the victim until they die. Throughout the Tudor period, there were dozens of examples of men and women who were executed for wishing death upon the monarch. One who comes to mind is Elizabeth Barton, the nun of Kent, who gained a huge amount of notoriety during her life for prophesying against the king. The point of Barton's prophecies were to warn against the marriage of Henry VIII to Anne Boleyn. The point of Mabel Briggs' fast were probably deep-rooted in Catholic dissent and unhappiness with the king with regards to his break from Rome and his need to remarry. When Mabel was on trial on the 11th of March 1538, Henry VIII had already had three wives, with Jane Seymour dying in 1537. The King's marriages would greatly have upset Catholics across the country, as would the further upheaval with Cromwell's dissolution of the monasteries. It was a time where change was rife across England with regards to religion, and there was great anger upon the King. One example of this is the Pilgrimage of Grace, which took place across the north, including in Yorkshire where Mabel Brigg was tried. We may deem practicing or fasting with the intent of wishing a monarch dead to be rather trivial and strange, however back in the Tudor period it was incredibly serious. Religion dominated society 
and the idea of wishing dead on a king was incredibly dangerous. For this, Mabel Brigg was treated very harshly. She was sentenced to death for treason. Her friend Isabel Buck was also found guilty and Buck's husband was also convicted of attempting to pervert the course of justice by bribery. It has been said of Mabel Brigg that, although the fasting of a poor and obscure female servant does not now seem to offer much of a threat to royal power and authority, Mabel Brigg and her fast were taken quite seriously by Henry VIII's Council of the North. The action against her was swift and decisive. Mabel Brigg was executed on the 7th of April 1538 and it was reported to Henry VIII that she had been convicted of treason for her black fast to an abominable intent against a king. Mabel was hanged in the city of York, the same place in which Robert Ask was hanged in chains months later for his involvement in leading the Pilgrimage of Grace, the religion shrouded protest against the religious changes in England. Mabel Brigg was spared the usual punishment for treason, which was to be hanged, drawn and quartered, due to the fact she was a woman, who were hanged from the gallows publicly still, in front of a crowd, to deter the public. It's fair to say that Mabel Brigg had a rather interesting life, and although we don't know too much about her life and her story, it's quite straightforward to piece together parts of her story. She was a widow, most probably could be accused of being a witch, who believed in the dark arts, and as she had performed black fast before, she was probably rather experienced in this. To wish the death of a monarch though, was incredibly dangerous during the Tudor period, especially when your king was Henry VIII, and she met her premature end at the gallows, wishing for his downfall. Once again thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.